Hey there, Nick Jatakis here. In this video, we're gonna go over how to open up multiple files at once within Vim using the FCF plugin. We're gonna set up a couple of different keybinds so you can open these files in a horizontal split, vertical split, or even a new tab. So I've got this example Dockerized Flask app. That's the one we're gonna be taking a look at here, but the contents of this directory don't really matter. We're just gonna demonstrate that we can open up multiple files. So I have things set up to where if I hit Control P, that's going to open up FCF here. So I can do a fuzzy find on the files within this project here. So, you know, I can always go to one file like this and hit enter and that's cool and that's going to open up the file. But yeah, let's say I wanna open up both of these view files in a horizontal split. So with FCF, you can do shift tab and notice here after I hit shift tab on that bottom file, it did add this little RNG red carrot right there. And we can also see the count here is one. So if I actually go to another file, let's see the file right above it and hit shift tab, you know, now there's going to be two markers here and we can see the count is two. And at this point in time, now I can hit control B and that is going to open up these files below. So that's a custom key bind that I set up, which we're going to go over in a few here. I just want to demonstrate the other ways of opening files here, but in my mind, B is below and that's a horizontal split. And you can see both of these files for the up views and the page views were opened up horizontally, which is pretty cool. So yeah, let's try that again here, you know, open up views here. And now let's say we want to do it uh, vertically. So I can just do shift tab, shift tab, and then control V. And in my mind, you know, V is going to be vertical. Of course, you know, things look a little bit cut off here because the font size is so big. Normally I can actually see four full 80 character width horizontal or uh, vertical splits there in Vim. But yeah, let's go over one more example here. And again, there's a views file, shift tab, shift tab, and then we can do control T. And that is going to open it up in a new tab here. You know, sometimes it's pretty interesting to have what I I like to call kind of like tab groups of buffers here. I do that every once in a while for certain different things. Uh, but yeah, it's also not limited to just opening up two files. For example, you know, we can go back to our uh, view search here. You know, let's say that you just want to open up all of these files. So you can do shift, shift tab, you know, and by the way, I should mention, you know, if you hit shift tab again on a file that was marked, notice how it's being toggled on and off. So yeah, you can just remove that if you'd like. But yeah, you can open up four files in a horizontal split if you like. There you go. Everything is good to go here. So now let's take a look here at the VimRC file. So if I do a search here for FCF, you will need to have the FCF plugin here. I've done videos about that one in the past here, but the custom binds that I've set up are these FCF actions over here. So we can see we have control T that is going to do a tab split. Then B is for split, which is horizontal. And then control V here is for vertical split. So if you don't like these binds, of course you can change them to be other things that you'd like, right? It doesn't even need to be something control and a key. It could be whatever is available to map. But uh, yeah, that's pretty uh, basic here. You know, things are set up to where now you can just open up multiple files at once. And you know, it's pretty handy, at least for me once in a while, I do do this. Like for example, you know, maybe I'm working with a web frame that has the idea of, you know, having some type of controller and maybe um, some template or maybe some test. And I want to open up all three of those files at once, but it's pretty nice because I can do like, you know, a control P to open up like, I don't know, like a user's controller and then quickly be able to open up the controller, uh, the template view, as well as a test just based on that one fuzzy match. So yeah, that's going to be it for this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer all of them. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up because it really does help a lot. Thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next video.